Hi guys, just a quick update on my speed trap or timer for measuring the speed of my toy cars in my kitchen. There's my laser pointer sitting on a carton of chopped tomatoes. That points across to a tin of beans. The mirror there has come out of a scanner, so it's quite a good quality mirror that one. And back down the kitchen to another tin of beans and another mirror from a scanner. And then across to my little circuit board, which hasn't changed since um, I did the development on it. The only thing I have done is I've stuck the LDR on a long pair of legs so I can bend it around to line it up with the laser. So I'll show you a little bit of video of it being triggered by the car. Sorry about that all wobbling around there. Um, ignore the fact that it's sitting on the transformer here. That's just a big solid weight to hold it still. Um, there's nothing electronically connected to that transformer. It works, but it's still not stable. Uh, you know, things like this waving around in the breeze is not a good idea. It all needs to be boxed up and made rigid and stable so that we can use it properly. But the general idea seems to work. There's my laser pointer pointing across at that tin of beans, touching the mirror. And going down to that tin of beans. So I need to put the mirror on there to point it across to have the receiver just there. Because this is really just to test the setup for my speed trap. so you can see the track. Okay, so he works. I've got my speed trap set up. Let's see what happens. It should trigger the laser as we go past, trigger the timer, and then it should stop it again when it gets to the other end. So let's see. Well, it did work, except that when it rolled back through afterwards, it triggered it again. So, I'm going to have to do something to stop it rolling back. To stop the car bouncing back when it hits the end, I've opened the doors to the conservatory, so it should go straight on through. So, let's reset this. And we'll let it go. crashed into the other timer gate. Not having much luck here. I've put some new mirrors on my speed trap. So we'll reset it and see what happens. Well, that seemed to work. 1.94 seconds to go 3 metres. Wound the car up again. I've repositioned the LDR slightly to make it uh, more easily adjustable. Eventually I'll make it all rigid so it doesn't need adjusting, but uh, let's just see what happens this time. Okay, let's try it. What have we got? 
2.03 that time, so it's a bit slower. Let's reset it. 